de lui-même pour qu'il doit avoir accès à la donnée. C'est ça qui est important. Ici, nous devons rentrer dans le sein de la manager, alors que si c'était ouvert tout le long, nous pouvions travailler de l'autre côté. Par exemple, ce que nous avons démontré ici, c'est le début de notre projet de compost qui pourrait prendre essentiellement, théoriquement, des acres de terrain. Can you give us more examples of what are the things like plastic bins or plastic? Well, you can use metal. You can use metal. Yeah, you can use metal. You can use metal. You can use plywood. You can use block. Bamboo. Yeah, sugar cane. You can use the best quality compost. He's worried about the, the fecal matter that is in the compost. If he doesn't have the temperature, the, temp the thermometer to control, what other ways does he want to make sure that the fecal matter is being killed, all the bacteria, the pathogens are being killed? How, what other ways can you test to see if it's working? Right? Well, one simple way mm -hmm. is to take a piece of iron rod, like a tree bar, push it in, leave it in there for a while, an hour or two, pull it out and feel how hot it is. Okay. You can even do that with a piece of wood. You can do that with a piece of wood. Also, just digging into it, you should see steam coming out. Yeah. The thermometer is the best way, but not everybody has it. Another thing they should know is if they think the compost is finished, they can take samples, put seeds in, like large plants, like a pumpkin or a squash, and then go ahead and sprout them and see how they look. One of the testing techniques used in the United States to test the maturity of compost. Because some people try to rush their compost, the compost is not mature, it will actually kill plants. But sometimes the products are finished. We have to use the plastic. We have to use the bottle. Most of the bottle. He says that the reason why they advocate for saving the thing is because sometimes there are foreign materials like pieces of rocks, pieces of glass, broken glass, because it's not it's it's in the in the preparation. That's okay. Is that okay? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, okay. That's, that's necessary, but when you have contaminated compost, you have to clean it. Okay, well, but some, what he's saying is that, he says that with the, a dog or a cow that would, you would put, he thinks that the bones will not be composed. They won't. Huh? They won't. Why not? They're too hard. They're too hard? Yeah, well, so what do you do? What'll happen is you'll, you'll end up with a skeleton mm -hmm. uh, in the compost. And you can just take the bones out. Okay. So you can, you, what I do is I put the bones in the soil. They're already partially softened up a bit. And you can put it right in the soil and it will decompose there. But you'll have a perfectly clean skeleton with nothing on it but bones. In, in this case, we're using pallets for bin walls. I don't really like pallets because it has gaps in it like this and stuff can come out. But pallets are easy to get and a lot of people use them around the world. The smallest practical bin is one that you can make for four pallets. So uh, whether it's a small pallet bin or a big pallet bin, the, the, the technique for making the, the compost bin is the same. When you start the bin, the first thing you should do is dish the dirt out of the bottom and make a bowl, put the dirt around the sides of the bin on the, on the ground. It doesn't have to be very deep, just a couple inches. What that does is if you get too much water flowing through the compost, it will tend to be contained in that bowl. Secondly, whenever you start building the compost, you should 
especially when you're using toilet material, you should always start with a base of uh, lawn toilet material, which would be the gas or food material like we have over here. How deep, how deep you want to do this? Yes. Yeah. Um, that's a good question. It depends on what material is being used, but but uh, a substantial a substantial layer. What we're creating is a sponge, a biological sponge on the bottom of the compost bin, so that if there are excess liquids, that they will be absorbed. This keeps the toilet material off the ground. The walls should be lined with uh, clean material such as the gauze. It keeps anything from coming out. Anytime a new material, new, new uh, organic material is added to the compost, it's uh, covered with bagasse, so there's a clean layer of bagasse or, or some other clean material on top at all times. And if you see flies or if you smell anything, if there's not enough cover material. Well managed compost will not have flies. The simple management technique that, that I want to explain to these guys. Uh, first you've got this blanket of bagasse on the top, right? Anytime you add toilet material, you want to pull the bagasse to the side, bring it out to the edge. Pull this blanket to the edge, see, like this. This is the material. What's happening here? If I pull it the gauze to the side, creating that edge, you see, we don't have to add the two sides. We, 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 every time we add the two, we just building that edge up. You can't put too much. You cannot put too much of the gauze on the top, but you can put too little. In other words, it's better to put too much than not enough. The important thing to, for them to understand is that the compost will shrink to about half its volume when it's done. So if it's full to here, it's not full. They can continue to add as much as they can possibly fit in here as long as they can keep it covered and nothing is coming out. Whatever, however they can put in here, whatever they can, it's all going to shrink down by the time it's done. Yeah, really but the question the question is asking is that what what about the the one that is already cooked? Doesn't matter. And then you can add on. But how long will the one that gets added on will take? After it's filled, okay. completely filled. Uh -huh. From that point on, that is when you time the aging. Oh, six months. Not from the beginning. Okay. From the end. Okay. Commence à planter. Côté. Les pour comment les pour commencer à les pour finir. Les pour finir. Keep one in there. Uh, just shove it in there and just leave it in one place. Uh, just so you have an idea of whether the temperature is going up or down. Just say, like the signal there. Shove it all the way in. If you shove the, con the thermometer all the way down like mm -hmm. that and don't touch it over a period of uh, maybe some weeks, mm -hmm. the compost will shrink mm -hmm. and, and it'll, the space between the, the thermometer and the compost will increase. And so not only is it showing you the temperature, but it's an indication of how much shrinkage 